care. All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem El Shai, Warachah Kodash, with Yahweh, that's Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's His true name, and Warachah Kodash, that's the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach you all in the scriptures, and salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing the word in all truth and in all sincerity. And you just saw a video clip, all right, of course, of a, you know, rebellious nigga woman, all right, you know, she's talking about how, you know, you know, how when, you know, Hebrew Israelites DM me about, you know, seafood, okay, and then she, you know, had another uh, uh, caption saying, but what does the Bible say about judging, and, you know, and then she's like, oh, okay, you know, and then as, you know, these captions are coming up. She's eating, you know, I think it was some shrimp. It could have been some uh, lobster as well, okay? And she's just, you know, dunking it in the sauce and just enjoying it. And she's basically, you know, mocking, you know, what we're saying. And you see, this is a perfect example of why the two-thirds are going to be destroyed, all right? And the reason why is due to the rebellion, all right, or the rebellious nature, okay? You see, our people, they don't want to give right. They con they constantly want to fight what the Lord has, um, you know, has, you know, uh, uh, what the Lord says, okay? And you see, they sit there and scoff us, you know, the men of the Lord, all right? And they, you know, uh, make fun of us, you know, they, they really think that they're hurting us, all right? But as the scriptures say, you know, you know, ye have not forsaken me, but you've forsaken your own selves. You see, ultimately, our people, they're really forsaking themselves because, look, as I did a lesson the other day, if you really um, have self-love, okay, if you, you know, because people talk about self-love, right? In order to have self-love, you have to um, love the Most High. And the reason why I say that is because by following the law, statutes, and commandments of the hev Heavenly Father, you're living a true lifestyle. And if you follow anything outside of that, you're actually living a death style, okay? And it's evident because, look... When you don't follow the law, statutes, and commandments, everything leads to death, okay? And you see, people like that, they scoff at now, because, you know, she's young. She's probably, like, in her mid-20s, more or less, all right? You know, she's, you know, you know, looks, you know, decent, you know, health is probably decent. But give or take, you know, another 10, 20 years, somebody like that is going to be in the hospital, all right? They're going to be overweight. They're going to have all these heart issues. You know, they're going to have blood, you know, high blood pressure. You know, people like that get gout, okay? Hey, those uh, uh, foods like that, they, they, they cause um, cancer, okay? And you see, the Lord, at the end of the day, has the final laugh, okay? You see, because, you know, like I said, right now they're mocking and laughing, thinking everything's, you know, cool. But look, the Lord's going to get the final laugh when He executes that judgment on you, all right? And you see, you people, when, once you get into a bad situation, then you want to call on the Most High. Then you want to ask... For you know forgiveness, you wanna, um, you wanna ask for help. But see, now we're in a time period where the Lord, He's just about to start destroying you two thirds because you you have um, no remedy. All right, you can't be cured, you can't be saved. All right, but let me start off with this scripture in Isaiah sixty five and two because this is our people to the T. This is Isaiah sixty five and two. I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people. Which walketh in a way that was not good after their own thoughts. Okay? And that's our people. Alright? They they walk in a way that's not good after their own thoughts. Okay? See, they believe that what they um you know what they do, what they believe in, that you know it's gonna lead to a successful life. When it really doesn't. It doesn't at all. Okay? You know, as the scriptures say, when it's becoming, um, I'll say, as I've been quoting this a lot lately and been bringing it out, um, it says in the book of Psalms, I believe it's the 39th chapter, it says that man in his best estate, okay, is all vanity. So even in your, your top-notch version of yourself, 
you at the end of the day is all vanity, okay? And the reason why is because you are in the flesh, okay? And the flesh is subject to sin. And sin, okay, leads to what? A death style, all right? Because as the scriptures say in the book of uh, Romans, um, I believe it's the sixth chapter, the last verse, it says, the wages of sin is death. And sin is a transgression of the law, which that means that's the breaking of the law, the Heavenly Father's law. All right? So, your ways and your thoughts, okay, are going to lead to a death style. That's why it's not, you know, good, okay? All right? And I'm going to, uh, oh, another thing too is how it says there, I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people. How is the Lord, you know, spreading out? Uh, his hands, all right? How is he doing that? By using the prophets, okay? He has us out there as his ambassadors, all right, which means that's a repre uh, an ambassador is a representative, okay? We're representatives of the Lord. We're the mouthpiece of the Lord, as the scriptures say, okay? And we're calling out to our people, telling them to, you know, forsake your evil ways, repent, and get right with the Lord. Listen to what's holy, what's profane. And follow the ways that are holy and righteous. And our people, what do they do? They mock the messengers of the Lord. You know what? Let me get it. Let me get it. Because this is in the book of uh, um, Second Chronicles. And this is basically what this chick was doing. This is Second Chronicles. Um, give me one minute. It's the 15th verse. Oh, let me see what's above that. I'll just get to the point. This is a Second Ezra <clears throat> or Salakia, Second Chronicles 36 and 15. And the Lord Yahweh, the power of their fathers, sent to them by his messengers, rising up B times and sending, which means that word B times means early. Okay. So we're sent out, you know, basically before the destruction. So you um basically have an understanding of what's evil and what's good. Okay, but see, our people still choose what the ways of evil. Now, I'm gonna keep reading and sending because he had compassion on his people and his dwelling place. But they mocked the messengers of the Most High, which that's like I said, that's what this day, uh, uh, the young lady was doing. Okay, and she's you know sitting there thinking that's cute. Oh, let me put this on TikTok, YouTube, you know, Instagram, and then you know. And let me mock them, you know, the, the, the prophets of the Lord. Okay, it says, um, be, But they mocked the messengers of the Most High and despised his words. So you despise them, all right? Hate them. And misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord Yahweh arose against his people till there was no remedy. And you see, that's when you people are going to want to get right. Because as the scriptures say in Psalms 110 and 3, My people shall be willing, okay, in the day of thy power. And you see, when that day comes, the two-thirds, they're going to want to get right with the Lord. But you know what? The Lord is going to reject you in that day. He's going to reject you. And he's going to laugh at your calamities as the book of Proverbs, the first chapter, talks about. The Lord's going to laugh at you, okay, and, and then just destroy you. Terribly, too. Because people like that... As it says in 2nd Ezra, they're going to dwell in torments. They're going to have a terrible, terrible, terrible judgment. Okay? Now I'm going to go back to this uh, Isaiah 65 and we're going to read verse 3 now. A people that provoketh me to anger continually to my face. Okay? That sacrifice, sacrifices in gardens and burneth incense upon altars of brick, which remain among the graves and lodge in the mon monuments. Which eat swine's flesh and broth of abominable things is in their vessels. And that's what you people do. Or that's what our people do. Especially the uh, Christians, man. Okay? Because I guarantee you, I, I just see it on her spirit. That woman is a so-called Christian. She'll go to church. Okay? You know? She'll say she believes in God. And then does all these abominable works. Okay? 
And that's why the Lord is going to destroy people like that. And you Christians are going to have a terrible judgment. These Christians are going to die so bad. And that's because they constantly, okay, and continue to rebel against the Lord. And especially now, they have no um, um, no cloak for their sins anymore, okay? Because you see, we, we've we been teaching forever, man. You know, for lack of words, you know, we've been teaching for, uh, you know, decades on decades. You know, starting with the apostles and their elders, all right? All the way to this current, you know, day. You know? Especially, I'll say this, it, it, it's, you know... We've been on the web for how long, you know? 13, 14 years? Hey, this is everywhere now. Hey, this, you know, um, the Hebrew Israel, Israelites are, are everywhere. And we're on YouTube, TikTok, okay? Instagram, Facebook. All it's, There's so many different uh, uh, media outlets that we're on. You people have no excuse. You have no excuse. All right? Now, let me keep reading. This is Isaiah 65 and 5. Which say... Stand by thyself, come not near to me. And that's basically what this woman was doing. For I am holier than thou. See, that's how what she believes, and she's holier than thou. That's why she made that statement. What, did the, what does the Bible say about judging? She really believes that she's holy and that no one can judge her. And look, I'm going to get into that too. We, as the men of the Lord, can judge, okay? We can judge you people, all right? And the reason why is because we follow the Holy Scriptures, and that's above, and I'll say this, the, the, the scriptures are above everything in this whole society, okay? And we're reading you your rights. We're telling you what's going to happen if you continue this, you know, um, this wicked lifestyle. Or I should say wicked death style, all right? It says, these are a smoke in my nose and a fire that burneth all the day. Behold, it is written before me, I will not keep silence but will recompense and even recompense into their bosom your iniquities and the iniquities of your fathers together, saith the Lord Yahweh, which have burnt incense upon the mountains and blasphemed me upon the hills. Therefore will I measure their former work into their bosom. Meaning basically you're going to reap what you sow. Okay. Hey, the works that you put in, you're going to reap it. So these people have been reaping nothing but wickedness and rebellion. So they're going to uh, 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 they've been sowing that. So what are they going to reap? Death, destruction. Okay, because that's the reward for being wicked. All right, that's the reward for being wicked. That's why the scriptures talk about horrible is the end of an unrighteous generation. At the end of the day, all of you uh, rebels are going to be destroyed, man. Okay, you're going to be destroyed. Um. But let me get this uh these chronicle or this Corinthians and this Leviticus. I'm actually not gonna get that Isaiah 30 because but I'll just quote it. It says, Woe unto them or woe unto the rebellious children. So the Lord amen, he's gonna destroy you uh you rebellious two thirds. You have no chance, man. And that's because hey, you would rather live a death a death style than a lifestyle. So you're gonna get hey, that's what you want. So that's what you're gonna get. But let's get first Corinthians uh two and twelve. All right, this is uh the book of first or no second Corinthians. Or is it second? Hold on. No, no, Salaki, it might be it was first Corinthians. <clears throat> first Corinthians two and twelve, and we'll go down to verse sixteen. This is first Corinthians two and twelve. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of the most high. Okay? So we've received the spirit of the Most High. We don't have the spirit of the world, okay? And what is the spirit? That's something that most people don't even know what it is. Because people talk about, oh, the spirit of the God, the spirit of the Lord. But what is that? We're going to get it right now. This is the book of John, chapter 6 and 63. Because this is really what the spirit of the Lord is. This is John 6 and 63. And it says, It is the spirit that quickeneth, which means it makes you alive. The flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So the words of the Heavenly Father, all right, they're the spirit, okay? That's the true spirit of the Lord. So we got these words, right? So let me read that again. This is 1 Corinthians 2 and 12. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit of the Most High, meaning we got the words of the Most High. 
that we might know the things that are freely given to us of the Most High, which things also we speak, and that's what we talk about nonstop. If you're a man of the Lord, you're going to constantly bring out scriptures. That, that's what's going to be in your mind every all day, every day, okay? And you can't help it. You can't help it. You cannot help it. It, it is what it is. Hey, if you're part of the, you know, that elect, you know, number, it's just going to be in your spirit. This is what you're going to be meditating on, okay? <clears throat> it says, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Spirit teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual but the natural man, okay, the one that's not spiritual, receiveth not the things of the Spirit of the Most High. And you see, you two-thirds, you're that natural man. You can't receive the Spirit. That's why you buck up so much. But there's going to be a, a penalty for that. And that's something that you don't get until it happens. You see, everything is, you know, a bunch of, you know, uh, you know, you know, a bunch of fun and games, okay, until things get real, until somebody gets hurt, right? Everything's funny till somebody gets hurt, right? Isn't that a saying in the world? That's when people want to get serious, when calamities, you know, fall upon them. But see, it's going to be too late for you all. Now I'm going to keep reading. It says, For they are fool foolishness unto them. So you two-thirds think the words of the Most High are foolishness, all right? Neither can he know them. Because they are spiritually discerned. Okay? And you're not going to know them. You're not going to have any understanding. Okay? And you spiritually can't decipher these things. When, 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 when Christians, really, when you two-thirds read the Bible or hear about the Bible, you can't decipher it. You can't, you know, uh, um, you can't get that understanding. And that's ultimately because the Lord has blocked you. I'm going to keep reading. But he that is spiritual judges all things. Yet he himself is judged of no man. You see, he that's spiritual, the one that follows these scriptures, can judge things. And the reason why is because they're judging, you know, they're, they're judging the world by the guidelines that the Heavenly Father has put out there. Okay? You see, that the, the, the Bible is a, 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 is a book, alright, of rules, okay? Of law, statutes, and commandments. These that the Bible teaches you how to um how to rule the world properly. Okay, and if you follow these things that are in the Bible, it's gonna lead to a lifestyle, it's gonna lead to a, a world, okay? A, a world that's gonna be perfect. And you people, you 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 hate the scriptures, and the reason why is because there's what? A standard. You have to actually control yourself you can't just do what you want to do all right and then that makes you mad and you're all basically what it is is these two thirds they throw ten, temper tantrums They're, that's why the lord said woe unto the rebellious children because that's all you are you two thirds are little kids okay in adult bodies that's all it is because really you don't become a man and a woman all right you don't become a man and a woman until you follow the, the, the Lord's ways, man. And that, that that is just facts. That is just facts. All right? I'm going to keep reading. Oh, and it says, here, let me uh, get this. Uh, let me read that again. 1 Corinthians 2 and 15. But he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judge of no man. And what it means by the, that last line there, how we're judged of no man is those that are in this world, you can't judge us. Simple as that. Okay? Simple as that. You can't judge us. Because you're not on our level. Alright? Hey, look. The elect... The elect is different. They're special. And that's because the Lord... Hey, 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 the Lord loves them. Okay? And no man can judge the elect. No matter what. And you people can get mad about it. You can fight it. You can say that... You know, we're cocky, we're this, that, whatever. You you know, you, you can say anything and everything. And look, at the end of the day, the elect, you know, they're going to be in a good case while you're going to be in a terrible case. And that's not my, uh, that's not my problem. That's your problem, all right? Hey, you, you take this up with the Most High. Okay? Verse 16, For who hath known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of 
Yahweh Shai, okay? You see, we got the mind of Yahweh Shai, which our Yahweh Shai has the mind of his father, okay? So we're in tune with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father and His Son, okay? And you people hate that. Now let me get one last scripture. This is uh, Leviticus 19, all right? Let's get the law. Because like I said, this is, this is for that woman that talks about what does the Bible to, uh, say about um, judging somebody, all right? We got one scripture and we're going to get another one. This is Leviticus and this is law, okay? This is Leviticus 19 and 15. Ye shall, ye shall do no unrighteous judgment. Thou shalt not respect the person of the poor, nor honor the person of the mighty. But in righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor. And that's what we're doing. We're judging you according to the laws of the Heavenly Father, which is, you know... Of which are righteous laws, and we're telling you that you're going off, and if you continue that, you're gonna, you know, get put to death. But you get mad at us for saying these things, and then this is the law. This is what we're supposed to be doing. This is our job, and the reason why is because we don't want, um, we basically don't want us. Uh, hold on, where's that at? We don't want sin to fall upon our neighbor. Give me one second to get it. Because this is also law too. Oh, it's 19 and 17. Let me just keep going down. Um, this is in uh, Leviticus 19 and 17. Actually, this is really what I wanted, but that one in 15 was good too. It says, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So you're not supposed to uh, suffer sin upon your neighbor. You're supposed to let him know that he's going off. Okay, and that's true love because really, if you're telling your uh, brother that he's, you know, or you know, or sister, right, that he that they're going off, okay. Really, what you're what you're saying is, look, I want you to get on the right path, okay, and I want you, you know, to 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 live. I don't want you to die, and that's true love because you don't want to see your you know your nation fall. All right, but look, hey, we we understand. You know that two thirds of our people are a bunch of knuckleheads, all right, and they're just going to be rebellious until the Lord comes back and destroys them. Then, when they get into the kingdom, they'll be in the right mind. You know, right now our people are so polluted; it's unreal. You know, it's really unreal at times. But you know, it is what it is. But uh, that's pretty much it. But I'm gonna play this clip one more time. We're gonna end it out, all right. All right, so you know, with that, I'm gonna give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.